make a slip knot. Make four chains. Slip stitch in the first chain that you made. Go back into the circle of chains. Make eight single crochets into the circle over top of the tail. Let me meet you back. Okay, there we go. Slip stitch into the eighth chain from the hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull your, your tail. Go back into that same uh, chain that you, 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 single crocheted into and make a single crochet. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, single crochet in the next stitch, and go all the way around. Okay, so I have chain one and single crocheted all the way around. Go ahead and chain one for the last single crochet and chain one combo. Now you, you want to find the space between the stitches. So here's a stitch and here's a stitch. They look like little little V's. So I'm trying to get into the next stitch right here. That's just a chain. And so that was a single crochet and that's a chain. Now you want to skip over these legs. And see those are legs. This is where your chain space is. Right here. Right here. And just remember, every time you do a single crochet, put a chain after it. That's just the way this stitch is. No matter where you are, if you do a single crochet, you do a chain after it. So now you make a chain again in the same space. That's right, make a single crochet in the same space and then a chain. single crochet and a chain. So I did two in that, that space. I did one in this one. I'm going to do two in this, this chain space. Single crochet, chain, single crochet, all in the same space. And a chain. This one's just going to be one. One single crochet, one chain. This one's going to be two. This one's just going to be one.
this is going to be two. Now you don't want to put too much, um, too many stitches in around. But it starts to ruffle. So, you know, you don't have to do these doubles every time or even every other time. But because you're getting, you know, bigger and bigger, you have to keep adding stitches otherwise it'll curl. If you add too many it'll ruffle. So periodically just kind of look at look at your work. See if it's starting to ruffle or if it's starting to curl. Just keep going into the next stitch, the, the next space. You're only crocheting in the spaces, not in the actual top of the stitches. So just keep doing that and you'll be able to increase. <laughs> 